So what you can also do is you can go ahead and generate out 3D models by the use of AI. But Gemini alone cannot generate 3D model as of the time of the recording. But there are other tools that you can use that you can uh, use alongside Gemini to generate complete 3D model from scratch. So to do that over here in Gemini, I'm going to first generate a 3D render like image. So I'm going to say, um, generate an image of a 3D dog, uh, 3D dog riding a bicycle in a plain background right here, just like this. Then what I can do is I can click on submit right here. So I said generate image right here. Let me just go ahead and click no thanks. I just want to generate a simple image. So now uh, what you can see is uh, it, uh, what, what you can see right here is it is generating out the image right here. So it says here is an image of a 3D dog riding a bicycle in a plain background. So I'm not, uh, I, I didn't mean uh, actual plane. So I said uh, I want white background right here just like this so once i go ahead and do that then what happens is that it'll generate out the image again so you can see that it is generating the image you need to wait for a while and now you can see that this is what you have right here so there's an image uh, of a dog riding a bicycle let me just go ahead right here this is 3d style as well so let me download the image full size right here just like this so now what you can actually do is after downloading, you can utilize this tool right here, studio.triple3d.ai uh, studio right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this out onto, um, onto my YouTube drive right here, just like this. And now over here, you can see that this is what you have. So now this generated uh, Gemini generated images. So in triple 3D, I can go ahead and generate our 3D model from an image. So studio.triple3d.ai is where you should go. So I'm going to click on generate 3D models right here. And once you do that, this particular page will open up. So over here, what you can do is you can upload out an image. So I want image to 3D right here. So I'm simply going to choose image to 3D and then click on drag or upload image. I'm going to click on it. And over here, what I can do is select this particular image right here. Many different image formats are, are supported as you can see right here. But let me select this one and click on open right here. And there's our reference image. So now what I want to do is simply click on generate right here. So once you go ahead and do that, it'll take this image as a reference and will generate out a 3D model out of it. So you do need to go ahead and wait for it. So here you can see that it says generating right here. And you can see that it's almost generating now. So one second is remaining. And then you can see the 3D model right here. If I were to go ahead and click it will load up in the main panel right here. So it's loading up the 3D model that it generated out of this image right here. And then it's loading and this is the model that you see right here. And it's fully uh, the generated one. So it's the, uh, it's the image uh, generated by Gemini. And now it's turned into a 3D model right here, as you can see, just like this. But this has no texture right now. So if you want to go ahead and add in a texture or even a rig stylization, you can go ahead and add those in as well. So let me just go around onto texture right here, just like this. And it's using the same image as reference, as you can see right here. That is what I want itself. I want the same texture to be used. So I'm using that as a texture and then click on generate texture and then wait for a while. So just like while generating 3D model, you need to wait for this to generate as well. And then this is what you have, as you can see right here. So it generated out the texture even for the other side right here. And AI generated all of this, as you can see right here. And this is how you can go ahead and then generate out a complete 3D model uh, by using Gemini and by using uh, Triple 3D right here. You can go ahead and select this out now and even export this out right here in different formats as needed. So, uh, so let me just go ahead and select ZLV format, let's say for example, and then click on export right here. And then what happens is that this um, 3D model will now be exported right here. 
So now you can go ahead and bring it into other uh, 3D uh, softwares as needed. So you can see that it is being downloaded right here, just like this. And then this is what you have. So if I were to go ahead and open it up with a 3D viewer in my windows, I will be able to see it right here, just like this. And all of this was uh, simply AI generated, as you can see right here. No manual uh, modeling or anything right here. So you can utilize this power to create some wonderful models as needed, as you can see. So that is how you can go ahead and uh, generate out AI 3D models with the help of Gemini and Triple 3D. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.